something happened to me as a kid and it gained momentum and it manifested as a speech problem. Even though I don't have it right now, some days it's like, ha, 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 hi, but then some days it's like this. So, depending on whether you're yeah, under the influence yeah, so of source, source or, or not. not. And I found, <laughs> yes, and here's my question. So, as I, you know, I self define myself as having a speech problem, I got into the field of linguistics and speaking languages. And I am fluent in six now because I love studying the way language works because I was affected by my speech problem. And I can speak anything you want and languages. Um, however, every time I do speak my languages like Spanish, I still stutter in them, even though I'm very, 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 very happy to learn them because um, it brings me excitement. So why do I enjoy studying languages even though I have this stutter that manifested and sometimes it's bad and worse, but no matter how much, I still love studying languages and talking to people in those. Why? Because you are a teacher to the core of your being and you are a communicator and you like communicating. But if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would separate your desire for language from the trauma or from the trying to overcome something. What do you think it is that makes it feel like a good idea to get out ahead in a conversation by explaining a speech problem? I mean, in the past I've done that and it makes me feel Well, you did horrible. it today. It was not yes. that far past. Yes. So, and <laughs> So it makes me feel terrible. You're helping us lead into something that we want to talk about. And that is when you think about energy and you think about the vortex and you think about the cooperative components gathering together, that's all out ahead of the manifestation. When you get out ahead of a manifestation in terms of the way you're allowing the energy to flow, then the manifestation flows more easily too. prepave getting out ahead of it. That's what being under the influence of source does. It really gets you out ahead of things because your inner being knows not only what you want and not only what you want and where you are in relationship to what you want, but what you want, where you are in relationship to what you want and what your path of least resistance is to get you there. So your inner being has a full view of everything. Now the path of least resistance doesn't mean the fastest path or even what you would consider to be the most productive or lucrative path. The path of least resistance means the path that will get you the most that you want with the greatest ease. Say it again. The path of least resistance is the path by which you are less likely to get in your own way. That's what the path of least resistance is. So your inner being knows you're going to be in your own way and doesn't care. Your inner being knows that on some subjects, you're more in your way than on others. Your inner being knows that on some subjects, you are really in your way. And on some subjects, you're not in your way. This is all going to make sense. Stay with us. Imagine that you have a subject that you want to talk about or create around. Maybe it's the subject of money. Maybe it's the subject of relationship. Maybe it's the subject of speaking clearly. So pick up the stick, whatever subject you choose. And on one end of it is what you want. And on the other end of it is the absence of what you want. But it's not just one stick in this pile. There are a lot of sticks in this pile. So let's say you pick up the stick called language. And you're not only good at this language, you are, you're good at six languages. So when you focus upon that end of that stick by which you have enormous success, it activates that end of all the other sticks. So for a little while, the money stick, which you might not be doing that well about is activated in a very positive way or the relationship stick that you might not be doing that well on usually is activated in that way. So what we're getting at is you could pick a subject and 
really get good at that subject and really feel good about that subject and it positively influences all of the other subjects does that make sense to you I knew it yes <laughs> yes tell us about what tell us what that meant to you what that meant to me was I you know when I focus on that I get so so happy that it seems like everything I, I don't care about just leaves and then like I just focus on feeling so happy on that and then so that activates a path of lesser resistance, resistance to yeah. you on all other subjects yes and it feels so great because somehow every problem gets solved <laughs> and I don't have to do anything so are you saying to us <laughs> and you are are you saying to us that the only problem that you ever have or anybody else either is a vibrational problem and when you get hold of a good feeling end of a good feeling stick it solves all the other problems because in that moment which pile are you in under the influence of source energy